Welcome to the University of Limerick Open Day. I'm Dr. Stephen Ryan and I'm going to be presenting on QQI uh, entry and transfers. So, just to start off by talking about external transfers into the University of Limerick. A lot of people ask the question, how many places are available for external transfers? There are no set number of places for external transfers each year. This is very dependent upon a number of different factors. There, uh, each year, courses are filled in year one through the Central Applications Office for our undergraduate programmes. For various reasons, students decide to leave their programme, and this creates spaces that will be available in years two and three on these courses. Where the number of applications is greater than the number of places, applicants will be ranked in order of merit based on their performance in their previous studies. So their previous studies may be, um, may be post Leaving Cert studies or also it may be on the Leaving Cert. Is it possible to transfer onto any course? It is possible to transfer onto any course in the University of Limerick with the exception of LM038, the Bachelor of Arts in Psychology and Sociology, and LM102, the Bachelor of Science in Psychology. The reason that you can't transfer onto these courses is because of accreditation reasons. Um, so uh, these courses are accredited by the Psychology Society of Ireland. And uh, as a result, there are stringent rules with regards to uh, transferring onto these courses. So what are the criteria for uh, transferring onto a course. This very much depends on your previous higher education studies, whether you're coming from a QQI uh, higher advanced certificate, a QQI bachelor uh, ordinary degree, or a bachelor honor degree. And it's very important to acknowledge that studies must be compatible with the course you are trying to uh, for the course you are applying for. So what I mean when I say that they must be compatible, that means that the course that you're coming from, if you are to go into second year of a course and you're coming from another course, they have to have very similar modules. And these are largely uh, discerned by your course director. They will take a look at what course you're coming from uh, uh, to make sure that they are compatible. So it sort of prevent, it prevents you from swinging wildly between entering in from, say, um, accounting to nursing or something because they wouldn't they wouldn't speak to each other, uh, the two courses, and it would mean that you'd really struggle if you went in at uh, second year of the latter course. So it's just important to recognize that. So just to speak first of all of the QQI uh, higher certificate, this is a level six certificate. And with the level six certificate, you'll be considered for entry into second year. Um, with a, if, you're, if you're applying with a QQI uh, level six higher certificate. Um, you, in, with that, you must achieve an overall merit or distinction. And as I've already mentioned, it has to be a compatible course based on content. QQI, if you're applying with a QQI Bachelor Ordinary degree, this was is a level seven degree. Um, students who hold a QQI level seven award, they need to have overall merit or distinction. And again, it needs to be a compatible course. And just to note as well, students transferring to the University of Limerick, they normally follow the regular course of studies 
with existing classes. So if you are entering into a course through an external transfer, you normally just join up with the rest of your class. However, this isn't always the case. Exceptions include a specially designed transition program, um, which is provided for students transferring into third year of engineering and science degrees. So uh, there is an exception whereby if you're uh, entering into third year of an engineering or science degree, students following this course for, uh, will follow a specific transition course for one semester and then proceed with the regular course with existing third year students. So if you're doing engineering and science, you have a transition course and then you will follow through if you are entering into third year. Then if you're applying with an honours degree, this is a bachelor's level eight degree, you must have completed one year of your previous course if you're transferring from a level eight award. Um, you must have the subject entry requirements are equivalent. So if you're applying into nursing, you just take a look at the nursing courses. You take a look at what the entry requirements are for these nursing courses and just make sure that you have those because you can't enter in without having the subject entry requirements or at least an equivalent of those. You must have the points required to get on the course the year they started studies. So what does that mean? You must have so if you are looking to go into second year of nursing and you have have your so if, you, if you're looking to go into second year of nursing and you didn't get the points in first year you wouldn't be able to go in uh, in second into and join it in second year and that's very important because that is something that a lot of students uh, query a lot of students wonder is there a way around uh, points and it's very important to recognize that if you're transferring into a course with level eight degree you must have the points required to get into the course the year they started study um, and they must have completed at least 60 credits and attained an average of at least 50 percent that's uh, an honors 2-2 level with no deficient grades. So you can't be failing out of one course and then transferring to the other. You need to uh, be in good academic standing. So how do you apply for a transfer? Uh, applications are made directly to the university by completing the online application form. And you can find this at www.ul.ie forward slash admissions. And the closing date is the 1st of July 2021. Or sorry, it'll be this year, the 1st of July 2022. Sorry, I should have updated that. Online applications must include full details of previous studies. Um, full details of previous studies. Uh, so you, we'd need to know the institution, the name of the course, what award you were getting. It's very important uh, that you fill out this fully and correctly. Uh, so you also need the following documentation to be scanned, documentation to be scanned and attached to your application. Certified copies of transcripts of results from previous institutions indicating overall award. You need your leaving search results to so make sure and include them and details of course syllabus where available so that the um, course director can take a look and make sure that the course you're coming from is compatible. Um, students currently in final year can submit details of their studies to date and offer conditional on final year results can be made. Uh, and just as well to note where the number of applicants exceed the number of places available. So maybe you're applying and uh, along with six other people and there might only be three places on the course. Applicants will be ranked primarily on the level of their academic qualifications and academic performance. So it will come into play how you have done in your previous course 
uh, and may or maybe in your leaving cert uh, to discern exactly who will get these places if there are competition for these places uh, in terms of transfers. Students who do not have an award from another HEI may be considered on the basis of CAO points or equivalent pathway entry requirements. Should I accept a CAO offer hoping to transfer to UL in the future? I would say no. Don't accept a CAO offer uh, in the hope of a transfer because there are too many, um, too many potential pitfalls. Uh, there mightn't be space on the course. Maybe the course mightn't be deemed compatible uh, by the course director. Um, and this could lead to great frustration and an awful waste of your time if you uh, try to pursue this. So I wouldn't recommend if you're in a position whereby um, it does happen to suit you, by all means apply for a transfer, but don't build it into your plans. That would be my advice. Always make your CAO decision based on the course you have been offered and do not assume that you can transfer into UL. Uh, don't assume there may not be places there and uh, we, we're not in the business of trying to disappoint anyone. Just to mention internal transfers, um, again, internal transfers, while they're available, uh, they are based, again, there are problems with uh, building them into your plans because they're based on the availability of places in the year of the program of study. So if you're applying internally, uh, again, you might not be able to get into the course because there might not be places there. Achievement performance to date. Um, so you would need your leaving cert points um, and there may be competition for available places. So it's just worth noting again that while the internal transfer is available um, and you can read about the internal transfer on the UL academic registry page, um, it is worth noting that uh, you shouldn't build this into your plans because um, because you may not be entitled to a transfer. Um, so just to draw your attention there to the website uh, ul.ie forward slash academic registry transferring dash another dash third dash level dash institution or you can just go to academic registry on the UL website and you can find it there. Uh, so just to talk briefly about QQI FETAC places, um, entry pathways are available for entry in 2022 to 34 undergraduate degree programs in UL for students who have achieved a, specif a specified QQI, uh, formerly FETAC, level five or level six major award. Uh, to, uh, to enter into UL through QQI, you need a full award typically a component towards uh, with a minimum credit value of 120 with at least five distinctions. Examples of scoring can be found on the CAO website. Um, some programs specify required component awards. So just make sure that you check um, uh, the what the awards are and you can do this again through the academic registry website. If you go to QQI, we have available on our website, a QQI booklet, and it goes through all the different awards uh, and how they relate to our courses. Um, information on linked awards for 2022 uh, entry scoring and available places are available through our website. So if you go to Academic Registry, go to Future Students Pathways UL and QQI FET Awards, it'll be there. Um, or alternatively, you can check it out on cao.ie where they give the details of the QQI awards. Uh, you can apply through the CAO by the 1st of February. Offers of places to QQI applicants are issued in early August. Uh, QQI pathways are available to programs in the following disciplines. There are too many, um, there are too many disciplines, there are too many courses to actually go through and the links in a talk like this, but you can again check them out on the QQI booklet. Um, we have 
pathways available to programs in humanities, business, education, health science and science and engineering. And just to note as well that if you do look on the QQI uh, section of our website, you will be able to, able to see the number of places that are allocated uh, for QQI a, for each of the courses, just to give you an idea of how that works. Um, so I'm going to just finish there uh, and say thank you very much. If you have any questions, please by all means pop them into um, pop them into our uh, chat and I will try in my very best to answer them. So just pop them into the Q&A uh, if you have any questions. Can I apply to UL with a level five award from Limerick College of further education and could I go into year one? So we'll just take a look here. Uh, with a level five award, we don't we don't have entry with a level five award. Um, hang on one second, I'll just double check something if that's OK. Or sorry, if you're my bad. No, sorry, I was look, thinking of it in terms of transfer, uh, but you're talking about QQI. You can uh, you can apply to UL with the level five award, uh, but you wouldn't be going into year two. You uh, can check out the QQI booklet to just make sure that your course is compatible with the course that you want to do in UL. Sorry about that. I got, got a little bit confused with both the transfer talking about transferring and QQI. But yes, with a level five award, uh, you can apply, but you can't apply to go into year two. Um, you can apply to start a course, but do check um, to make sure that it is compatible because that's very important. Just wait for a moment in case anyone else is preparing a question. Um, if not, I would just like to thank you very much for engaging and for um, and for listening to me over the last 15, 20 minutes. Thank you very much and enjoy the rest of our open days.